Hello everyone, welcome back here today and do a run guys. We got 335 miles to go. We're gonna have to stop and get some fuel on the way. We're using a um Mercedes Benz truck today. So let's get on the road. Uh still currently in the beta, uh 1.4.0 beta. It has not uh, released yet, but if you have not heard, SCS did announce the release of Nigeria for ETS2, which will be coming out in April. They've also announced the next uh, DLC for ETS2, which will be uh, the heart of Russia. Um, I've never been to none of these countries, you know, so I don't know a lot about them. But it's going to be cool, you know, to have it. We're change it up a little bit, use a different truck, you know, for a little while. Been been using this one for a little bit. Kinda happy with it. Turn right. And we're stuck on the wall back here. Yep. Starting off good. There we go. We'll have to get a thumbnail. Hopefully it's rain to move out of here so we can get a good thumbnail. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I haven't really put too much out. I've been working on LSPDFR. I've been having a lot of issues with LSPDFR here lately, so that's where things have been. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. Trying to keep it running. Um. I've had a lot of mixed comments on the jurisdiction mod that I'm using. Um, I, I I love the jurisdiction mod um, for for LSPDFR. I know there's a lot that don't like it, but but I do. Turn right. So let's just sit back and enjoy the ride. We'll try to get a thumbnail. Look, we're going to turn that map off here too, just to make it, so if we get on the roof here. There we go. Oh, wait a minute, we're going to need that map. This truck doesn't have a GPS. Oop. Hit the wrong button. You know, I just noticed that. I have to look at for the option in this truck for GPS. I don't like that. Normally, I run it like this. That's the reason why you know me. It doesn't bother me for one not to have a GPS. And the rain is moving out. We're gonna go ahead and get us a thumbnail. Like I said, guys, I'm not. A, I don't know a lot about these European trucks. I don't know, you know, too much about them. I'm. I know more about the American trucks than I do these. But I had, I can't say the updates and stuff that they've been doing to these, the, to the beta has been looking pretty good. Now, I've been having some issues over on ATS with, with some of the updates that they do. Man, we got to look at fuel. Hopefully, there's a fuel stop on the way. 
let's see. Yeah, I think we should make it right here. Yeah. I think that'll be okay. Okay. But I've been having some issues with ATS on some of the updates they've been doing where the game will be just so laggy it doesn't want to run and then they'll come back, they'll do another update and they'll fix whatever that issue is. So, but as you know, uh, this is still in beta. This version of the game. Yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of stuff they are working on trying to fix for the, uh, you know, the lighting and stuff. So that's understandable, you know. Not complaining about it. But I surely didn't know this truck didn't have a GPS. So I'll have to buy a different one that has a GPS. I just hope we make it on fuel up here. But yes, guys, uh, I've been having a lot of issues with LS Pretty Far. That's where I've been, the reason why they haven't been a lot on the channel. Really been trying to work on it to try to get it where I can, it's uh, stable enough to run. Uh, it's actually doing a little bit better now. So hopefully, you know, I have posted a few videos. Um, Hoping it stay good. I mean, it's actually not running bad. Yeah, we're getting low on fuel. How far away did that fuel drop? Fuel stop. Uh, we're not too far. We should make it, I think. I think we'll be okay. Anyways, guys, I hope everyone's doing well. I want to say thank you to everyone that watches the videos, watches the live streams. It, it does mean a lot. Uh, this is still something that I do want to do. Um, I want to do it more than what I get to do. Because um, I enjoy doing it. Go ahead and get over. Let's get fuel. Keep right and then exit right. Um, I, I've had some questions too about modded trucks. Right now, there's not a lot of modded trucks that has been updated for um, this Go version of the on. game. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Um, I think we just messed up. There's not a lot that has been updated for this version of the game because we are in the beta, um, so it has not been updated. Most of them have not, haven't been updated. No, we didn't. We're fine. Um, a lot of the monitors, you know, they don't update them until the version goes live, where it's not a beta. And me personally, I don't use a lot of monitor trucks anyways. Get fuel. Alright. Back on the room.
Got a little ways to go. We got 300. Yeah, I shouldn't have that much. Let me see what it's doing. Shouldn't be that many miles. Okay. Yeah, that's about right there. I was thinking maybe it was trying to circle back. I would definitely turn that off, guys, but since we don't have a GPS in this truck, I don't think it'd be a good idea to turn it off. But, um, on the subject of modded truck, I don't use a lot of modded trucks anyways. Um, nothing against the modders that do these trucks. There's a lot of good models out there. There's a lot of good trucks out there. And, you know, a lot of these modders, they do an awesome job. You know, and hats off to them, you know, for, for what they do. But, I just, I would prefer the stock stuff where... You don't have issues. I guess because I deal with so many mods and I was pretty far that I just don't want to deal with a bunch of mods in other games. So basically, in my opinion, we don't need. Why is it making us go back around? What is it doing? I don't know why it's making us do this. Okay, okay, I guess we have to do this. That doesn't make any sense to me, but okay. Because it's gonna make us come back and circle back around and uh, turn around. I don't know why, but that's what it's doing. At the roundabout, take the third exit. I don't really understand why we're doing this, but that, this is what the GPS is doing. I, I don't. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Rerouting. Why is it rerouting? This GPS is all screwed up. Now we're uh, a little bit better off, it looks like. I don't know why it's sent us like this in the first place. That really didn't make sense. I don't know why I had to circle back around and go to them. But, okay. 
I guess we had to go through this whole road. Start to get a little dark. Go ahead and turn the lights, huh? Uh, and guys, I, I don't use, I don't have a wheel, so I am using a controller. So my driving, you know, it's not gonna be the best, but that's, that's okay. I mean. So yes, uh, the next DLC for ETS 2 has been announced, like I said, it's going to be the heart of Russia. Um, Nigeria has is supposed to come out uh, in April. Um, as you know, they did not get it last year, it was supposed to already came out, it was supposed to come out last year and they didn't make it. Um, I I don't know why, personally I think it's because you know, the virus and everything has been going on. It's been kind of slowing everybody down, you know, and getting things done. That's what I would say, you know. Don't really know. Personally, you know, why it didn't come out, but it didn't. But, you know, it's coming. And we're all pr proud to see it coming. But guys, they've been doing a lot of updates to this beta. This beta is being updated just about every day. Every other day. Or it's got now where they've been doing updates once or twice a week on the on this beta. So, on both. ETS 2 and, uh, and ATS. Keep left. So, there's been a lot of updates. Keep right, and then exit right. We didn't hit nobody. Exit right. And, and I can tell you too that I do notice the difference immediately in, in both these games, the lighting difference. As you can see right now, we, um, you, you can't even tell, you know, the headlights, so they're on. But you can't see them. Like I said, I, I know that notice the difference immediately. It looks really good too. I mean, you know, they've done an Keep awesome right job with these updates. And then exit right. Exit right.
Right. We got 169 miles to go. And I surely did not. Maybe there's an option and I missed it for the GPS. I'll have to go back to the shop and look at that and see. Right, maybe I just missed the option for that. But anyways, guys, I, I hope everyone is doing well. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. And I do always, I always do apologize for when I don't get to upload. Um, you know, what happened to full, I do have a full-time job, so that does it affect it a lot. And that does affect, you know, me getting upload like I want to. Um, you know, and then other things going on. And here lately, like I said, LS PDFR, which is another one of my big series, it's really been causing a lot of problems and keep trying to keep it running. So... I mean, it is currently running right now. Um, I don't know how long. Uh, you can turn it on the day and, and, and it won't run. Last night did. So, yeah, that's what you kind of deal with, you know. He's cut you off. I've noticed two guys on here. Uh, now this is there's no traffic mod installed. I'm using just um, default traffic. I've noticed in ETS and ATS for the uh, 1.4.0 beta, a lot more traffic on the road. So um, this is not a traffic mod. This is a uh, basic traffic that I'm seeing, and it's you know it's not over overdoing it. It's kind of like uh, the way I like it. I like it. Well, you, it's not a ghost town, but you have enough traffic to, uh, on the road, you know. And it's, it's not bad. It can, it can use a little bit of an improvement, but it's a lot better than what it used to be. And I'm noticing that. Speed limit right here is 37.
So we got about 85 miles to go. Now, also, I, I have a lot of mixed comments on talking. I, you know, there's not little, really a lot to, to talk about in these games uh, for me. Um, so, sometimes I am quiet. Sometimes I do talk a lot. It just depends on what's going on. And I've had some mixed reviews on that. I've had some reviews that don't want to hear talking. They want to just hear the truck and see the truck and look at the sights. And I've had some people who want to see a lot of talking. You know, hear a lot of talking. So, you know, let me know in the comments, you know, what you want to see. And when some modded trucks do get updated, as I said right now, there's not a lot really has been updated. Because this is still the beta for the game. So for the version of 4.0 and a lot of the trucks have not been updated yet and they don't work So we're about 50 miles out from our drop, and I'll have to change trucks on the next one, guys, because I, I did not know this one didn't have a GPS. I know a lot of you don't like that map, and I understand that. But today, since we don't have a GPS in this truck, we, we had to use it, and you know. Just kind of being quiet for a minute. Letting you hear the sound of this Mercedes engine.
keep right and then exit right. Okay, they got we're gonna have to go through it. Exit right. Cause I'm not gonna sit here and go around. I know we don't like doing this. I don't know if we can get through here. We're gonna see. But since I am recording. Oh, we may be stuck. Oh, I, I meant to turn that off. Normally I don't do this, but yeah, I'm recording and I don't want you guys to get, sit to a lot longer video than if you don't want to watch it. Um, so I do go around it sometimes. Keep I can just turn it down, but I always forget to turn it down. Then turn left. Turn left. I was hoping we weren't running into no detours tonight, but we did. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Here? That's a little bit narrow Get street. Ready to turn right. Turn right. All right, we're here. Finally, we are here. All right, well, they want it. See what we can do here. Hit the ball there. These trucks turn a lot different from the American trucks. Not too bad.
We gotta do better than that. We gotta straighten it up, make it look better. Okay, we gotta be proud of it. Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right, we drove excellent. We drove 351 miles. It took us 10 hours and 7 minutes to get here. We consumed 48.1 gallon of fuel. We'll go ahead and pick up a load while we're here. Some potatoes. Use packaging. A lot of potatoes. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video here for ETS2. I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone who's been subscribing. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. And hit the uh, button. And have a good day.